Hello everyone, um, welcome to episode 11, I hope you're all doing okay. In this one, I am going to be attempting Ascent of a Woman Advanced, um, and it looks really difficult. I've already checked, um, there's a few nodes that are like 5k power, and they have no gold, no diamond modifiers. So... It's going to be tough considering my highest silver is a 954, but I mean, I think we can do it. I think we can still do it. If it comes to it, I might even use Bad Hair Day, which is not a bad shout. Speaking of, do I have any skill points? I have 17. Okay. I guess we don't need crit rate. All we need, honestly. Um... If you're thinking about Bad Hair Day, she's one of those weird fighters, in my opinion, where <clears throat> she really doesn't require um, what you expect. You would expect any character that is a Bad Hair... Like, Bad Hair Day's signature ability is 100% offensive. And you'd expect... Oh, well, if it's an offensive ability, then she needs attack, right? Not Bad Hair Day. She is uh, a unique fighter in that there is basically no way that she's going to get enough damage output to be able to, um, I mean, I am going to use this because it's only got, it's got HP percentage, it's not much, but I'm doing it just because of that, but yeah, she doesn't have enough attack to the point where you may as well, you are better off just, um, Building block proficiency, most of the time, so she doesn't take chip. Uh, you're better off building defense, you're better off building HP. Um, accuracy is also an amazing shout, because it increases the chance of bleeds, and if you have a marquee ability, it increases the chance for her to make them permanent. So yeah, she's a different, she is an awkward fighter, but I feel like block proficiency, defense, HP... That kind of stuff is a lot easier to build than attack, piercing, meet again, and stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm going to attempt the first one on camera, <clears throat> just because I want to show you a general, like, a general idea of what we are about to expect. And I'm going to try and attempt it with these two, which might not be a good thing. This is Epic Sax. Ah. Okay. I don't have any way around that. <clears throat> the only way I have a way around this Resident Evil at the moment is um, I have to hit him not a lot. So as soon as I hit him, I instantly launch. As you can see, this is the only way. Because I don't want him getting any armor at all. I'm going to use this. It might be a mistake. No, I'm getting lucky. There is no way I'm about... Yep, there's the... There, there it is, I was going to say. That was an experience. I don't think I've ever beaten a Resident Evil like that so easily. Never mind. That's why I said I'm a bit worried for this. At least one thing is, I'll show you Inklings second, because I don't think I've shown you yet. Special moves have a 20% chance to be unblockable while Peacock has living teammates. I'm so glad that that Resident Evil didn't tag out now. Because it, does, it means she can't just hit me with those. But I think I've still won this regardless. I should still win this regardless. I'm just being, um, yep, there we go. So yeah, um, that's what you should be expecting. Like, it's still doable for someone like me who's played for ages, but if you're, if you're relatively new to the game, I would advise, um, I probably would advise you get at least your silvers to around a 1.5 mark. I think it'll be doable then. Although, again, if you have bad hair day, Bad headache makes anything doable as long as you don't mess up, so you'll you see how 
important bad hair day is when you get to things like this. So yeah, that's the first one. I'm going to get to the treasure nodes because the treasure nodes are actually quite difficult. And I only really want to show those because the rest of them are quite straightforward. There's no modifiers, you can use them whatever you want. But I will see you when we get to the first uh, treasure node. Okay guys, I'm back. This is the first treasure node. And I've been thinking about it. I think this, for me, <clears throat> is probably the best comp I can do for this. Mainly because Graveyard, as you know, gives heavy regen. So... This, in my head, seems like the best. I'm going to invest a little bit in her, too, because, um... Oh, yeah, my coins are gone because I've invested in Inkling a lot. I think it's best to do that, maybe? Not right now, actually. It's not that big of a deal. But I know that we're going we're gonna to get a lot of, um... We are going to get a lot of... Uh, coins back after this, so <clears throat> I'm not too bothered in um, using them right now. Plus, graveyard shift is actually is she is going to be quite the uh, the end game type of um, fighter. I'm going to do that attack percentage. So yeah, I'm going to give this a go. And this, it, it shouldn't be too difficult, actually, the power cap isn't too much, but I know Bad Hair Days of Health is not going to be appreciating this. Yeah. 9% on a chip, that is quite the, that is quite something. <clears throat> oh, I also have this Born With It taunt. I should be using it, but I haven't been. It's not because I had it just for the stats. I should be using it, but I haven't been. So I'll use it now. Not that it makes too much of a difference anyway. Plus, I guess if if that last hope has a blockbuster free, which I'm not too sure about, it means more damage might it might actually result in a couple less hits. Meaning she doesn't charge it as much. Which it doesn't sound like much, but th those two hits could mean a lot. And as you can see, this is why I've brought Bad Hair Day in. Even though she tagged out, actually, that's perfect. But Bad Hair Day, if this last hook gets a bleed, I should be able to remove it with ease. I'm hoping. Right? Please? Yep, there we go. And that's why Bad Hair Day is um, a stupidly good carry early on. Because things like that. So this should be a walk in the park now. The only thing, I need to kill one of these because obviously you can see my health. Yeah, okay, there we go. Right, the only thing I'm scared about now <coughs> is this last hope needs to revive. Because she hasn't yet. There it is. And it's not even the fit, I thought it was more health than that. Never mind, we win. There you go, that's how you beat that one. Just, um... Bad hair day, I guess. That was relatively easy. I thought that was going to be more tough. Okay, I'll get to the next one. <clears throat> and I'll see you then. Okay, guys. <clears throat> this is the second one. It's basically the same thing. Except the fires are different. And I'm scared of both of these. Um, I'm scared of Princess Pride because... I don't know how I dodged that, actually. I should have been dead already. Uh, Primed can spawn tears, and every time she spawns a tear, she gains in rage, meaning more damage, and she can do that at will, which is incredibly scary. But Princess Pride, I'm scared of because if I don't, if I'm not able to remove her regen stacks when she spawns a tear, she could recover a lot of health in a short amount of time. I mean, I was scared of this Prime, but I guess not. Yep, there you go, there's one. And she's going to detonate it. And if she didn't have... Um, if she didn't have health... Oh, no. And you've got a Balamore. That's one bleed stack that you've just mitigated. There's two. 
So I only got two there that got mitigated, so that's fine. I think this is also another straightforward one. It's just um, whether you do enough damage so that Bad Head Aid doesn't get killed because of her health. Um, another a word of advice if you don't know, that is a that is a, um, a bait. She throws that at you, at you, and if you hit it, you end up getting stunned for a couple seconds. So it's basically an opener. It works most of the time against the AI, but... Make sure it doesn't work against you, because you'll get killed immediately. But, um, yeah. I will get to the, the final treasure node, and then it'll just be a straight run to the boss node up here. So, yeah, see you then. Okay, guys. I'm back with the third and final one. This one is no Cerebella allowed, which is a little bit annoying, because it means I can't use Toad Warrior. But... I do have a plan for this one, and my plan is to use Icy Heart with Rusty and Inkling. I'm going to do Rusty first, and I'm going to explain why. Because <clears throat> this Armed Forces is not only going to have armor, but this one is also going to have her in flinching. And she's got it maxed out, as you can see, 10 seconds. It used to be 15, by the way. And it's still... This... this um, this still scares me a little bit now, this um, ability, because it mean, it is a time-wasting ability. As you can see, I've been really, really safe while she has it. But I'm going to show you why. I'm going to see if I can... There! You saw it. Rusty converted the armor and flinching into bleed almost immediately. Yep, she did it again. That is why I value Rusty more than Bad Hair Day. She might not be as reliable in terms of her bleed, but I feel that she's the better fighter overall because of that. As you can see, um, that time it didn't work, I think, because of the fight bleed, but the armed forces died in like 30 seconds there, I'm pretty sure. That is... for a... let's have a look at her power, by the way. She is 900 power. A 900 power fighter single-handedly beat a 5.6. Yeah. 5.9, actually. I didn't realise. But yeah. Rusty is an absolutely disgusting character for a bronze. I hope that little bit there just convinced you that she is, the, in my opinion, the best bronze. And that is exactly why. Um, I'll get to the boss node now. I was expecting that to be a lot more tougher than it was, that's why I used Icy Heart over Graveyard in case I needed to tag out, but it wasn't actually that bad. So I'll see you when we get to the boss node then. Alright guys, I'm bringing you back just before the boss node because the last two before the boss node are over 8.5k each. And I apologise, but I'm going to quote unquote cheat for this. I'm probably just going to use Somersault for it. And I have my reasons. Mainly because A, in this one, there's a Dreadlocks. And B, I don't think even Inkling with the 50% bonus damage, I don't actually think she's going to have enough firepower to beat it. So, yeah. I'm also checking something real quick. Attack crit. Okay, I kind of need to keep that. Right. I shouldn't do this, but I'm doing it. It's only 30k, I mean, I'm just going to do this real quick because, uh, what's her attack stat now? 1,423? I can check like this. Yeah. Okay. That should be a decent enough attack. I'm also going to have Vaporwave in the back because I've kind of been neglecting this Vaporwave. Which... I don't want to, I, I use Wolfsbane like a lot, so I don't want to make you guys think that Vaporwave is a bad fighter. It's just, Wolfsbane is probably more of a carry right now because he's a lot easier to use than, um, than Vaporwave is. But yeah, you can, I might have actually been able to do this with Inkling, but yeah, you can see. This is a diamond, this is diamond level damage. 
And she's not even invested in except like for one move, which doesn't do anything. But yeah, 700 hits all the time. But this is gonna this is gonna prove why I'm using her. Probably. She crit as well. No. So yeah, if you didn't know, if you crit a dreadlocks, she gives you heavy bleed for so long, and that's why. That's why I'm not using anyone else because I'm pretty sure even Wolfsbane doesn't have a big enough health pool to survive that. I was very shocked to see that somersault crit there, though. She hadn't crit the entire time, and then she crit on her best... Probably the best move that I could have crit on for damage. But, yeah, you can see there. Uh, somersault kind of makes light work of it. I mean, it's not like I... I mean, I haven't really used this somersault in all, that much, in all fairness. Like, it's only level 5, as you just saw. It's primarily for skill points. Like, I know I've just put skill points back into her, but I think that's for the best, because she can be invested- You can invest in diamonds a tiny bit, but I'm only, I'm definitely not at that point yet. I just did it for convenience. Not that I should have, and I wouldn't advise you guys to do it either. But yeah, I did it just for my convenience, just so I can beat these nodes. So if you guys have a diamond at this level, don't- um, you can still use them for things like this. If there is a fight where you're like, okay, I truly am worried for it, just use a diamond. Like, I was worried for this a little bit, in terms of this fight, in terms of this, um, this account's power right now, I was a bit worried for this one. But, it seems to be going alright, and that's mainly because of, um, yeah. Mainly because of Somersault. Also, I'm I'm shocked that this is a 17 minute video of actual content and not me just rambling. This is me, like, actually just explaining everything. But yeah, we're at the... Oh, uh, we're not at the final one yet. I'm probably not going to show you... Actually, I should show you the final one because it is a scary fighter. But yeah, I'm going to beat this last hope and then I'll see you back then. Okay, I'm back at this. Um, This is why I wanted to show you it. Because this fighter is a pretty ridiculous fighter, especially in one-on-ones. She is great as a one-on-one, she's great as a support, and she's also a fantastic at offense. But I think for this, I think I'm just going to run what I have here, honestly. I think I can do it. But if she has one special move, I'll let you know if she does now. If she has one, it's going to be a bit scary. Uh, she doesn't. You're looking for the one that is literally just her living weapon's fist. If it's that, that's Merry Gorilla. If she had that, she would have probably immediately threw me as soon as it was charged. So, yeah. As you can see, that chip damage, she just hit a thousand chip. And I don't think I can sustain that for too much. I'm going to have to switch out. I know I'm not using... A fighter with obviously the correct um, element here, so I'm going to take a lot more chip as well. But I'm doing this mainly because I need that inkling to recover a little bit. Are you kidding? No, that might actually be the best thing. That might actually be a good thing. If you level three, though, this is not good. I'm going to do that immediately because I think it should. Yeah, if she starts, if she isn't blocked, she's just going to immediately get hit by that. Don't. Okay, if she comes towards me. Oh god. I'm just gonna do that because it's gonna force you to move. Okay. That was a scary fight. But yeah, you can see Harlequin is not something to be messed with. But. That is a lot of rewards. And if you did. If you watched last video. You will know that I did not get a single silver out of 10 Premier Relics. It wasn't a 10 plus 1, just in case everyone's thinking, well, it was a 10 plus 1. If, if you opened 10, it was a 10 plus 1, why didn't you get a silver? Um, it wasn't a 10 plus 1. It was just 10 separate Premiers from a, from a reward, from being Who's the Boss, and I did not get a single 
a single um, silver, and I needed literally what? Wait. Ah, oh, it's not that good. That's decent. That's meh, meh, meh. Most of these are bursts, so I don't care. That's meh. No. No. Like I know those are bursts, but sometimes if they're good enough, you can use bursts on uh, on offense just for stats. But yeah, we didn't get a single silver yesterday, and I needed literally one silver to ensure a gold relic at the end of last video. But we're gonna get it looks like three silver relics and a gold relic at the end of this one. So and we also have a jackpot, which is basically if it's it's a silver relic. You don't you very very rarely get more get higher than a gold. Out of those. Or higher than a silver, sorry. Well, looks like these premiers are also going to be the same thing, too. Okay, am I, is, is this account, like, rigged all of a sudden? Am I just going to keep getting bronze after bronze out of these? It might get to a point where I forget what the animation looks like. It's been that long. Oh, my God. So that's 16 premieres in a row without a diamond. Or without, no, sorry, not a diamond. I don't expect a diamond. Without a silver, at least. That's not good odds. I was expecting this to be a bronze at that point. Robocopy, not good. Come on, I'm looking for perfect dark, mainly. If I can get a perfect dark. Mismatch. Unfortunately, I've already got the other double. Also known as the better double. Well, the best is silver double. Oh, yes, Tomb and Gloom. Seeing that gave me so much nostalgia. I used to get Tomb and Gloom out of this jackpot relic every single month that I got it. Yep, there you go, just a silver. But it's trouble, mate. Okay. <sighs> okay. I've already explained in the previous video what kind of golds I'm looking for. Um, so, yeah. This is going to be quite a nervy ending to the video. Because if this isn't a good gold, it might not... It might make a difference. I'm looking for a couple, please. Oh my god. Okay. No, it's just, it's just Rainbow Blight. Sorry, my phone cut off. It cut off the recording on its own. I guess my even my phone was so excited that we just got a, a goddamn Rainbow Blight. I can't believe that. Right, I want to show you something real quick. Look at um, look at Rainbow Light's element next to the power. That means no element. That means the only way you can get Rainbow Light is from, or she's, no, you can get Rainbow Light from a lot of different areas, but she is one of the hardest golds to get because she's no element. Because it immediately puts her out of character specifics and stuff like that. But she is a very hard gold to get a, to get a hold of. And I got it out of my first gold relic? I mean, that's not something that normally happens. Is that my daily relic? Yeah. If that was oh my. Okay then, well that's quite the ending to... Um, to... That. Meaning I have another fighter that I'm going to have to work on a little bit. Um, so yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you've made it this far, I appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you all have a good day.